Hey guys, it's Beth here, and this is my car boot pickups episode three. Now, as you know, I do these every two weeks because I like to pick up enough sh stuff to show you guys in my videos. Unfortunately, this is only one week's worth of stuff because this week all we've had is rain and we just didn't get around to getting anything really this week. So, except Saturday, except yesterday where we got like one or two little things. But this is what we've managed to pick up. So we'll start over this side. Now, usually I don't tend to uh, buy weeds very often because, you know, they're, they're very common. You see them everywhere and I just don't tend to bother with them. And especially if they're unboxed as well. But I've seen this one. It was unboxed. It just came with the leads uh and that was about it i i just randomly asked the guy how much you he wanted for it and he said four pounds and for that price i couldn't really say no because it's just four pounds so why not so i picked up a wee for four pounds then by here we have this is um an original xbox remote not in too bad condition either the backs on it as well and i got these two off the same guy and we have a, this is an original Xbox memory card as well. Now, these had stickers on them and they were priced up at 50p for the memory card and 150 for the uh, remote. And I got them both for a pound in the end, which is, which is all right. Now, we got two Marios. This one here is a McDonald's Mario. Got that for 20p. And this one I got at Carbo. Now... No one was actually selling this. My partner noticed this in the front of some guy's van and he just randomly asked how much it was. And the guy that you could tell the guy wasn't willing to give it away too easily. I would usually only pay like 50p a pay max for something like this. But the guy wanted 150 and he was adamant. And I ended up just giving in and paying the 150 because. It is, a, it is a nice figure, obviously it's, uh, it's bigger than the McDonald's figure and it's nicely, it's got some nice details on it. It does need a clean because it's a bit dirty. Next we got this Super Mario DS case. It's a little bit scratched but it's not too bad. Then if you look inside, you put your DS obviously here. And it's protected then you've got room for some games and you can put your stylus in there now i only paid 50p for that so that's not too bad next we've got a um sort of space invaders style multi-tool keyring now i only paid 50p for that which i thought was quite good underneath we've got a um xbox original game which is Midway Arcade Treasures 2, which has 20 classic ar arcade titles, and we only paid 50p for that. And also, it randomly had Assassin's Creed Black Flag for the 360 in it, which is pretty, it's scratched up pretty bad actually, but it doesn't really matter because we didn't want it for that. We wanted it for that, and that disc is actually mint, um, and it comes with the manual as well that was 50p then above there we have a um it's an in-car charger for the game boy advance sp but i believe you can also plug in other things the original ds yeah you can plug in the original ds and the game boy advance sp that we we bought that for a pound then next and then above it we got a skylander that's what we managed to pick up from today's car boot that's the only thing we picked up and i was actually quite pissed off because i bought it for 50p and then after i bought it i realized its bloody arm was missing so that kind of sucked but then to be honest it was only 50p so it wasn't that bad but you know i was desperate to buy something today because there was not hardly anything there and i just wanted to pick something up next we've got this which is um, it's a case to put in your power discs from the Disney Infinity game and this one is the 
Disney Infinity 2.0 Marvel Edition. And as you can see, there's a there's a couple of um, power discs in there. I got that for 50p, which is actually okay. Below it um, is a Skylanders Trigger Happy, I guess, keyring style plush. Got that for 50p, still got the price on it. Um, then we got a couple of PC games up top. We've got Morrowind and the two expansion packs for that. And then Oblivion as well. So lots of Elder Scroll games up there. Then below it, we got two PlayStation 2, Final Fantasy X and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Then we've got The, Le the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, Super Mario Galaxy and Mario Kart Wii. Um, for the for the Elder Scrolls games at the top, the Morrowind and two expansions and Oblivion, plus the two PlayStation Two games, like we got them as a bundle. So the four PC and the two PlayStation, it was five pound for all of it. Then for the three Wii games, because we got Mario Kart somewhere else but the the zelda resident evil 4 and mario galaxy six pound for all three which is two pounds a game which isn't too bad at all then mario kart Wii was a pound which was really good so i was really happy with that then next to mario kart Wii, we have a game boy advance sp gray one and i'll just show you guys <laughs> hang on a sec it's down there it does actually work perfectly, so that's great. So that's that. Paid a fiver for that. Unfortunately, it didn't come with any cables. Then we have Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Overpaid on that game. Um, got it from a... You know what. <laughs> got it from a reseller. Um, it was £2. Uh... I, it's not too bad. I would have liked to pay 50p or a pound for it. Two, pad, uh, two pounds still not too bad though. Then underneath we've got Need for Speed Most Wanted for the PlayStation 3 boxed and complete. That was 50p. Then we picked up some, I picked up a soft PSP case which was 50p. I needed one for my PSP so I picked that up. Then from a different seller we got three psp games which was burnout legends lemmings and gran turismo we also got these two little things disc covers and we got a psp portable um case that you can put your discs in um that was all together so it was the three games that and the two two cases and that all together was four pound uh, and lastly, I think, is the N64. And um, as you can see, there is some terrible marks on there. It had stickers on it when I got it. And basically, I took the stickers off. And now I need to sort of try and get the tougher... Yeah, the tougher residue glue stuff off it. If you've got any tips for doing that safely without wrecking the console, then let me know. Um, since I want to try and clean that up a little bit. Then, as you can see, there's a rumble pack. It's a Gamester rumble pack. And we've got a boxed uh, copy of Perfect Dark, which has the manual and instructions and all inside. And the, the, the box is a bit battered, but the game, the cartridge itself looks absolutely fine. So, yeah. But the real reason that I wanted to pick up this bundle was the fact that inside... We found the expansion and I needed an expansion for my, my N64 because um, I have another one upstairs. It's the exact same model as that, the same colour and everything, but in a lot better condition. So basically, I picked that bundle up mainly for the expansion and Perfect Dark as well because I don't have that in my collection. So um, in total, I paid £15 for all of it, which... Realistically, I would have liked to pay a bit less. Um, the guy I got it off of, off of was the same guy I got Grand Theft Auto Vice City from. And basically, he had a uh, Atari as well. An Atari 2600, I think. Yeah. 
and um, I did offer him £15 for both, but he said basically hell no, and he, he wasn't going to do that deal at all. So I managed to, I ended up getting all that for 15 though in the end, which wasn't too bad a deal. So that's everything. So Jay's just going to um, just go over things for you a sec, guys, and I'm going to just talk about um, what profit I guess I made from stuff even though I won't be selling any of this on it's all going in my collection so I will just go through things so Mario Kart for the Wii got that for a pound and online it's worth about eight to twelve pounds so that was a really good deal happy with that the Disney Infinity 2.0 power disc holder paid 50p used online it's about it's worth about six pounds and new it's worth about ten pounds although i can't see why people would pay ten pounds for that to be honest um the trigger happy plush that i paid 50 people believe it or not on ebay that's saying that it goes for about seven to ten pounds which i really can't believe that but i went on the sold listings and people have actually bought that for like seven pounds um the Super Mario DS holder, that particular case, I only found one and it had sold for £12.99 and that was used. But I, I assume that that would be worth slightly less because it is quite scratched. But for 50p, that's really good. This, I, um, I looked at the Space Invaders multi-tool keyring and I could not find that on eBay at all. But we got it for 50p, so... I'm guessing that was a decent deal. I, I don't I, I don't believe it's worth too much, but fifty you can't really go wrong for fifty P. The Midway Arcade Treasures 2 for the original Xbox that we paid 50p for, that's worth about three to six pounds. Then the Sony PSP soft case that we paid 50p for, that's only worth like one to two pounds, barely worth anything. I picked that up purely because I really needed something to put my PSP in. Um, the in-car charger for the Game Boy Advance SP, we got that for a pound, and it's worth about two to three quid, you know, nothing major, but, you know. Uh, the Game Boy Advance SP we got didn't come with a charger, so there we go, we got a charger, <laughs> pretty much. Um, but we got one up in the house anyway for our other one, which is broke. Um, the Xbox remote and memory card that we got for a pound. Now this is quite good. The remote goes for five to seven and the memory card guys goes for 12 pounds. 12 pounds. And we got them both for a pound. So that's pretty good. Um, the Game Boy Advance SP that we paid five pound for on its own without anything else, like without the charger or anything, just the Game Boy Advance online is worth about 17 to 20 pounds so that's actually really nice that deal i did want to haggle him try and haggle him down to three but i got a bit excited and just took it for a fiver so yeah the so we got lemmings for the um psp which is worth about three to four burnout legend is worth two to three gran turismo is worth three to four we paid four pounds for it all. Oh, and the case that you put the discs in, that's worth about three to five pounds. So we got all of that for four pounds. So that's not too bad. Then um, Need for Speed Most Wanted for the PS3, we got for 50p. That's actually worth six to seven pounds, guys, used. So that's pretty good. Um, now we'll move on to the n64 stuff so perfect dark box in that kind of condition is worth about 10 pounds um the n64 we do have a controller and the cables for it by the way guys but they're up in the house so it did come with cables and a controller as well so for the console the cables and the controller the n64 goes for around 30 pounds then the expansion, an official one, goes for about 17 to 20. When I took it out, I realised that the expansion is a third party one and it's not actually an official one, which kind of sucked. But 
I would assume it would go for at least a tenner anyway, even though it's third party. And the Rumble Pack, again, I believe it's a third party one, but it is made specifically for the N64. Um, I did look at that particular model and it's worth at least a fiver. So um, we paid 15 for all of it and all together it's worth about I'll I'll take I'll um I'll say the expansion's worth a tenner because it's third party so fifty five in total if you sold all that separate and individually it comes to about fifty five pounds and I paid fifteen. Um although I don't know how well the N sixty four would sell in that condition. Obviously like I said I need to clean it up but then we got GTA Vice City Again, I paid £2. I said to you guys that I already paid too much for it. It's only worth about £2, £2 to £3. So I paid about what it's worth. Um, then we have Super Mario Galaxy, Resident Evil 4 and Zelda Twilight Princess. We bought all three for £6. Mario Galaxy is worth about £7 to £8. Resident Evil 4 is worth a fiver. Zelda Twilight Princess is between three to eight, which is crazy. I've seen it sell for three, I've seen it sell for eight. So any anywhere between there. So six pounds for those three is quite good. Two pound a game and they're worth more than that. Then the, there's the final bundle, which was Tony Hawk's, sorry, sorry guys, two seconds. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 is worth two to three. Final Fantasy X is worth four to five. Morrowind PCs four to six. Uh, the two expansions are four to five pound each, and then Oblivion's four pounds. So basically, we paid a fiver for for the two PS2 and then the four PC. And looking at the lowest prices for those. That's about, I work at about £22 and we paid a fiver. And that's going by sort of the average prices. So overall, I don't think we did too bad, guys. Um, like I said, if you give me any tips on how to clean the rest of the stuff off that N64, that'd be great. Uh, thanks for watching as always. Hopefully next time I make a car boot video, it'll be a bit more interesting. And I'll have more stuff to show you. Like I said, this is just like a week's worth because this week has been awful. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.